What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Du Clay, a graphic designer, producer, sexy. Dude, part of Tree Sound for real. Today, what we're talking about is making dope cover arts, thumbnails like loot kits, software, cover kits for like um, drums, whatever like that. Things like this that you can see here. This is the Halfway Domination uh, Electra X kit that I made for this video. Uh, that's also going to be on the site. Four things that I really focus on uh, when I make my art is I'm, I'm simple. Now, I really try to make things too difficult. Um, I do use basically four things, really dope textures, really nice PNGs, because I make like collages. You gotta be a fire font, and then also stickers. I love stickers, like I love them. With my mom or a sticker or drowning, I would save the stickers and then like attempt to save my mom. But that's besides the point. So we're gonna get into this and start working on this. So this is what we're really gonna be focused on. You see the texture, the font, the PNGs, and then also the stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of this. Let's see, what we're gonna do is start with a transparent background. If you don't know how to make a transparent background, you see what this is, where you see layer. What you're gonna do is add a new layer. And then when a new layer comes up, it comes up as transparent, and then you throw the old one away. See, like that. Oh wait, hold up. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. There you go. Now how I usually start my graphics, I do a PNG first, which means I, I do whatever the collage is first and put that all together. And then um, then I add it to the black background. Then I start adding my texture, then I add my stickers. I do a little bit of gain. I probably do a little uh, saturation um, and uh, turn it down. But I'm gonna show you all how I do that. First, we open up this folder so I can grab all those things that we had inside. Just got a MacBook, by the way, so I don't know what I'm doing anyway. Base going to cut this part out, probably. If you guys do want to know about some dope PNGs, some dope stickers, some dope textures, I did just drop my third GFX pack, which is Dark Side, which you can get on treesound.com. Uh, I got part one, two, and three available on there. So how we're going to do this, we're going to start layering everything first. So we're going to start with the first layer. Now, the first layer is uh, I really focus on my what is going to be the primary graphic for it, I suppose. Um, like the one that's going to like, everybody's going to notice. And usually that's the big one. So I started out here. So I measured this out really. So everything right now is like we're saying, we're not making the final graphic right now. We're just making the PNG that we're going to add to it. Because I always save my PNGs. You never know. Let's say if somebody want to make a t-shirt or if somebody wants to um, have it on a different background, always add it like this. Uh, second layer, let's see. I wanted to do here. Let's do the Godora. I don't know. He's fire. Don't ask no questions. All right. Remember, if you look over here in this area, you see how I bring this down? It's called layering. You saw that? Relax. I'm fresh. Right? And the other one, I believe I had a jet. But wait, we're not going to add that jet yet because we want to add another layer. And then we are going to add that jet to it. That jet, like I said, resize it. Bring it down. Like that. Then I had the crystal skull. Oh, 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 oh. Add another layer. Oh. Let's scar down. Now, I want the scar to like tuck underneath the head, but facing downwards. So how you do that, you go to edit. You go over here to flip horizontal, right there. Bring that down. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Bring it down. We're gonna go back to edit again. We're gonna go to this. We're gonna go to rotate. Rotate that down. And then we want to bring that down around underneath of the White House. Actually, I don't want it directly underneath the White House. Actually, yeah, I do want it underneath the White House a little bit. But I want it to come out some more, like that. Like I want it to just be peeking out, like it's just that. Right? Then I had, look about here, I had flames. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? 
you feel me? All right, bring that down. Layering, it's all about layering for real. Everything's really about layering, how you want things to look, about the clean presence about them, everything like that. And then um, just go crazy with it. Start adding different things that you see or that interest you. Uh, the final thing is that I had this little bag of little, little broken up bones and stuff, really. So I kind of just made those kind of small, open bone like this and just had it on top of it like that. That's really what I did and how I had it. Just make everything look comfy. Everybody should be in place, should have a part, but still should be tucked and comfortable. Like it's really neat. But like, still chaos. Like everything's everywhere, but it's still neat. I'm like, yo, what am I even looking at right now? That's the effect I like giving people when I work on graphics or when I do certain things like, why why did you decide to, to put that like that so this part is really done simple so i'm gonna go ahead and i am going to file save as and then you're going to save this as a png right and you're going to save it wherever you want to save it at make sure you save it somewhere that you feel comfortable with Personally, I have like a folder underneath of graphics and then it's like projects and then it's like the name of the project that I work with. And then once we come together and we rename the project, put that on there, save everything in the same files. This is just being organized. I also have a lot of PNGs uh, separated on the inside of it. I should have did the stickers in the texture, but I want to go through the textures that I really want as well. So go ahead and save that. I'm not going to save it because I already got it done. So let's start from scratch all over again. You really don't have to. Once again, my process. My process. All right, let me see. Create new. You can go for a black background. I do uh, 3400, 3400 resolution, 300, whatever. Create. So we have this. Boom. I got a Mac, y'all. I have no idea how to work this. So we're going to go back to the Finder or Explore if you have a Windows. And we're going to find that PNG that we worked on earlier, right? And we're going to go ahead and drop that in here. At this point, when I was doing the PNG at first, I did not care if it was even. I didn't care where it was sitting at. Because I know once I get it here and I resize it how I actually want to resize it, and I get it like this, and it feels, it just, it just it's, it's neater. It feels way better doing it this way. Is that how you want to get that? Probably make it bigger than that right now. Just playing around with it, trying to figure out. So I don't have like a set structure of how I wanted to do it. But if you look at the fire, you look at the dragon, you see how everything is in the middle, how you want to see it, how you want to see it, right? <coughs> so I'm going to show you how I did that font there as well. So this is how I did the font. You go down to this area, see where the text is, right? Get that in there. Domination. Go over here. This is like the mover tool, where so you can open this up and move this around. Now this is my favorite font for it. I'm gonna show you what this font is. It's called Square Seven Two One. If you see my graphics, this is the same font I use like all the time. I guess as far as what everybody thinks, I use this font like all the time. So you saw how I had like the wavy effect in the uh, graphic as well. So right here is this little tool up here. You see this? I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Actually, wrong tool, sorry about that. Go back and click on text. When you see the T that's bending, boom. We're so gonna go down here, and they have this option right here, which is called flag. Boom, oh, get real wavy with it. Have fun with it too. Everything don't gotta be perfect when you do graphics. It's not like, I do music too, but it's not like music there. It's like, it's whatever, to be honest. Uh, edit, uh, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna do a little, a little rotate on it. Oh no, the computer gonna die. All right, we juice it. I'm on seven percent. We big juice it. So I'm gonna rotate, move that down like that a little bit. Like I said, does not have to be perfect. Do what you want. It feels good to you. You. All right, go back to free form. And what I'm doing is making it a little smaller, just because I feel like it was popping out a little bit. All right now, also if you saw, I had like a little glow around it. Right? So what we're gonna do, you go over here to where it say domination. You're gonna double click on that or a few times. You're gonna come all the way down to this area and you see where it says drop shadow. Click drop shadow. It drops shadow. 
So you can have that however you want to. You can move it. Uh, you can spread it further out like that. You can make it wider. If you want to control it this way, you can come right over here and grab it and move it like that too. Boom. Now I don't want too much of that because I don't want to take away from it or it just be glowing too much. Right now it's on normal too. Remember, you can still play with it through this with the screen or the light in and all that stuff like that. However you want to have it. I usually just leave it on normal. Bring that down a little bit too. You use speed to bring it down just so it's just enough. All right. And then you saw how I also had halfway in there. Shout out the, the boss, uh, Poncho, uh, my biological dad. Uh, halfway. Same exact step. Boom. Make this a little bigger like that. Go back to click on that. Come here. Yo, and if it's any shortcuts, leave them down there in the comment section because, like I said, um, I just be chilling. I don't know none of these shortcuts. I ain't I'm self taught. I ain't go to school for this. Um, I used to eat at Applebee's. Now I eat at Whole Foods. You feel me? Oh boy, get your, get your money up. So we're going to go back over here and grab this, bring this down that way. I'm going to add a little bit of glow to that because halfway glows in my eyes. He glows. He glows. Drop shadow, same exact way. But I'm gonna bring it back a little bit because remember you want the title to be the like the thing that like pops out to it the most. All right, hit okay with that. That looks good to me so far. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to get some, some textures. Now I got textures from everywhere. I got textures that I make as well that's included inside of my pack that you can get from treesound.com. Yes, it's another plug, purchase purchase buy buy i don't know how to like be like subtle with it buy buy for me buy buy things actually i'm not trying to find a fire one i'm trying to find the one that was already right inside of it so up oh, there we go i found it all right so we're gonna bring this up we're gonna drop it right on top now this is where i do not do any layering it does not care where you put this at what i want you to do is put it all the way at the top and you're gonna go let me make sure because i'll be bugging all right, screen and lighten on my two. Screen, you see how I look? Now I'm gonna do lighten. You see how I look? Lighten is a little bit darker. So what it does, I don't want it to screen in the background like the PNGs are sitting on top of it. I want it to screen itself on top of it so if there's any bit of like a little bit of texture or any white spots or any grain that can be applied on top of the graphic and on top of the PNGs and the artwork, that's perfect. Now, uh, that's not the only one I use. You wanna use like, probably like two minimum two two at minimum you can use as many as you want like i said i got a whole bunch of them in my pack that you can use all right let me see all right i want something that got like not grain but i like like specs like something that makes it look like really really vintage this texture already looks vintage just from the uh the overlays that's on top of it this is tight so then I'll add this on top of it too. Okay. Add another overlay. Sometimes it's a little buggy. And then I grab this section that I want. Layer on top of it. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Like I said, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna hit screen. You see that? So the texture is on top of it, instead of all the PNGs being on top of the texture. You get what I'm saying? So as far as that, that looks good to me. That looks great to me. I could probably do more work, but I won't because I'm lazy and because I'm hungry and it's 3 a.m. I think where I'm at. I don't know, I don't understand time. So I'm gonna go over here. Next step. We're gonna do some stickers. Since it's gonna be on tree sound, I really focus on two stickers that are like really, really like uh, pushing when it comes to like me going for tree sound. I focus on some type of sticker, which is the tree sound sticker, which is the one I use all the time or all the ones you see on the website. Now that sticker is, just a second, there we go. And these stickers are PNGs as well. So I get that, boom, pull that back over here. You know, you feel me? Drop that down. Get it nice and even. How you ever want? However you want it. Go to file. I'm lying. Go to edit. Go to transform. Go to rotate. 
let's get a little bit of rotation. Like 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 it's a real sticker. Like 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 they just bought this and it's like a vintage cover because that's what I'm that I mess with. Alright. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get like a little barcode. I got a few of those. Let me get the one I really really like for this. Cause this is like kinda old, kinda retro, kinda tore up. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drive that in there. Boom, it's in there. Don't put all your stickers on one side like a little weirdo. That's weird. Nobody, that kid eats alone that much. The kid who does this right here, he eats alone. Don't do that. So you're gonna bring this on this side, right? Make it small. And then the thing I like about stickers, you can do what you want. Manipulate them how, like however you wanna have them. So I'm gonna go over here. I got it clicked, see how I have it highlighted? We're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to file. And then we are going to go to edit because I have no idea why you went to file. I'm going to transform and it's going to be a little thing right here. It's going to say distort. Now distort allows you to do this. So pull it down. You see it? You see how I'm moving around a little bit because I like it looking messed up, kind of like just like just like torn up. That makes that brings that vintage home, that, that vintage feel to me. Bring that down like that. That looks good. I like that. See? It's okay so far. I'm bring it down a little corner a little bit, a little bit more. Now right here, you can say this is okay. This is fine. You can leave this the way it is if you prefer to have it that way. But we want to take it a next step above and what I kind of do with my stuff. So we're gonna go all the way at the top. We're gonna go to filter. But first, we're gonna click all the way up here. Click on bars. I actually gonna click on bars. I want to highlight the whole thing. Click on the whole thing just by just by doing this. Boom! Click on it, right? And we're going to go to filter. We're going to go to distort, and then you're going to go to noise. There's no reason to go to distort. So you're going to click on noise, Texas. You're going to click on noise, and you're going to go to add noise. So you see this little area right here, right? When you turn this all the way up, the noise gets ridiculous. You don't want that, that's terrible. I, no, I, I'm not having it. Scroll down, keep it real simple, because like I said, we want to be minimal. You feel me? That looks great. You see how it looks? You're done with it, you hit okay. Now, I'm not finished. Things that I also like to do, highlight the whole thing. You're gonna go to this little area, you're gonna hit adjustments, you're gonna look for brightness. I like to, once you put on that noise, it kind of brightens it up and it kind of makes everything look like it doesn't belong. So I do just a little teeny bit of contrast. You see how that goes a long way? Just that little bit of contrast kind of makes it like, it brings it together and make it a whole. Cause sometimes everything is like a different color. You want to at least be able to match the colors all together. Boom, 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 boom. And I like that. I was seeing that to have, and that would be on the website. And this will be for the Electra X kit that's already up. But we want to make sure we get some brand new graphics and everything up on the site to make sure everything looks great. So, like I said, you can use these same steps to be able to make thumbnails, drum kits, loop kits, kit kits, kid kits, lunch kits, however you want to use it. Um, and this is just the size that I put it in for the square because that's the way that I sell my kits or sell my graphics. I will finish it with putting like graphic design by Duke Lay at the bottom, but you guys want to know about that. And if you don't know how to save, you can save. You hit file at the top, actually. If you don't know how to save, you're gonna hit file at the top. You're gonna hit save as, and then you're gonna save it right here as a PSD. Always save your PSDs. Yes, save it as a PSD. And then uh, once you save it as a PSD, come back, save it as a JPEG, or you can save it as a PNG. I like saving all my files as PNGs because I'm, I'm like, oh, I, I just like it like that. I think it's better quality, it looks better. Especially when you send it to people, it's gonna transfer to a PNG anyway, and then sometimes it might lose its quality. So why not have it at the highest quality? Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these PNGs, stickers, um, and textures, um, also I got fonts too. We got some fonts in those. I have dark side one, two, and three GFX pack up on treesound.com. Uh, once again, it's your boy Dude Clay. Follow me at Dude Clay. That's D 